going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Look! What's that? We'll be swallowed! No, 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 it's just me! Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle! <laughs> Check on Brain. Brain, can you hear me? Brain, answer, please. <laughs> Brain, what's happening? I don't understand you. Slow down. Brain. Oh no. Appointment with Dr. Claw. Let's go. Come in, Brain. Good boy. Where's Uncle Gadget? Uh. Keep looking. I'll call you later. Excellent work, Captain. This oil tanker will fetch a handsome price on the black market. Now. Tell me about Gadget's last moments. <laughs> oh, Gadget, he's in tank number five. <laughs> you brought Gadget here. But, but it was full of oil. Open the hatch number five. <laughs> MD, attention, all agents. Gadget is loose in my domain. Go, go, Gadget Scissors! Wowzers, I'm on another planet! I've been abducted by aliens! There must be a souvenir shop around here somewhere. <laughs> ah, one of the local inhabitants. I'll have to create a good imp... Wait a second, this looks familiar. The G portal must still be on the fritz. It sent us to a bleak, not too distant future created by MAD. Hmm. Luckily, I'm an expert in World on Edge Future Gone Mad survivalism. I have seen all the Angry Arnie movies. Go, go, Gadget, mobile post-apocalyptic mode. <laughs> Uncle Gadget, that's only a movie. Well then, how do you explain that? Uh, a kangaroo? A kangaroo, you say? If that's true, Penny, he won't mind answering some questions. yo Mr. Kangaroo, could you come here a minute? Just as I suspected, Penny. That's not a kangaroo. 
It's a mutant warrior from the not-too-distant future. Go, go, Gadget Mutant Tracker. Now I'm prepared for all future danger. Let's roll. Uh, Uncle Gadget, maybe we can confuse the, uh, mutants if we split up? Good idea, Penny. But stay safe and mutant-free. Brain, stay with Uncle Gadget and watch out for him. Protecting a superior is rule 114.56B. Don't worry, Brain. I can handle a mission and my studying. Swearsies! <laughs> Ow. Mad evil defacing, take two. Oh, no, no. Terrible. Is that what I'm not paying you for, Talon? Even after those few paltry strokes, I can tell your vision is no match for Von Steel Toe's latest work. Ah, the good doctor! Feast your eyes, uh, that's if you have eyes, on my latest and greatest defacement. That was Mount Everest. Did you see how Steel Toe's henchmen created a rich texture on that offensive image? How come you can't do that? Ugh. I'll just use my codex to reprogram that laser and... Ahem. Well, well. Looks like we have an evil laser carving art fan here. It's worse than I thought. These mutants are vicious. A koala slash kangaroo slash dog mutant? Curse you, Dr. Claw! Curse you for messing with Mother Nature! Wait! Dr. Claw! That mutant will lead me right back to him! Does that look straight to you? Uh, focus, Penny. Or you'll be part of the landscape forever! Huh? My codex alarm! I've got to get back to my studies! No, that's what got me into this. If I was less distracted, I could have helped Uncle Gadget stop Talon. And I would have walked into way less trees. <gasps> like eucalyptus trees. Family Mertatia, found only in Australia. Uh, and also have lots of oil in them. Now that's an A+. Plus. We must be close to the Mad Mutant Lair. Oh. Oh. That must be the mutant leader. I must capture it very carefully. Go, go, Gadget, future evil mutant catcher. Gotcha, disarmingly cute mutant. Now lead me to your creator, Dr. Claw. Huh? No. Too weird. Not weird enough. Hey, Penny, what do you think? <laughs> How's that for a critique? <laughs> All that studying is gonna make you so burnt out. No, <laughs> wait, I am. <laughs> now I get some target practice. <laughs> Wowzers! Why is the prison laundry so far away? It's you! So where are the washing machines? Right this way! Oof! Let me help! I'm always on duty! Yes, yeah, Squint! Uh, hiya, Squinty! Who's your friend? Hello, boys! Oh, it's okay. He's with me. Are they working for the Chief, too? Yeah. <laughs> Just like us. Wow, this is a big operation. Ooh. Gadget, Inky, take a helper on a tour. Squint, you get to work. All right, take care of him, Inky. You know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Come on. This should really be interesting. Let's get to work. Wowzers. Look at the size of those presses. No hand ironing here. could get hurt. You have to be cautious around industrial machinery. I'll get you yet. Hmm, <laughs> this looks like the wallpaper I saw in Squint's cell. This'll fix him. are nice, too. Designer sheets. This is a very fancy prison. You failed twice, Cat Gadget. Okay. This laundry looks like a million dollars. Ah. I'm impressed. Sounds like mice. What? I give up. <gasps> they started printing the money. Brain, are you in there? Well, uh... I'll find out how they plan to escape with the funny money. You take care of Uncle Gadget. <laughs> they can't use the laundry truck. The police have seen it. Test. <laughs> Gadget will get a bang out of this. <laughs> Aha! He's timing me. I'd better hurry. Gosh, look at all that money. If it gets to Dr. Claw, there'll be no stopping him. Let's get out of here. The bomb's set to go off any minute. Gadget will never know what hit him. A bomb? Oh, no! Brain, there's a bomb down there. Save Uncle Gadget. <laughs> It's not up yet. I can still hear your stopwatch. Wow! I'll soon know which pile is the softest. It's this one. Yeah, yeah, Shark Tank. These plans, they lack originality. They lack vision. I need someone with that evil X factor. I need the magician. <gasps> He's totally unpredictable. Sure, he'll come up with a million ways to destroy Gadget, but each one will be more bonkers than the last. Exactly. The perfect storm. I am the master of magic, the ambassador of illusion, the grand hipster of hypnotism. I am... the magician! And for my next trick, the demise of Inspector Gadget. <laughs> like the entrance? Not really. It lacked flair. 
Now, let's make Inspector Gadget disappear! Permanently! <laughs> you probably could have waited until we were outside for that! <laughs> Last night, the brilliant physicist and frustrated illusionist, the magician broke out of his asylum. The magician? My old college roommate. Haven't seen him in years. I wonder what he's been up to. He's been in an asylum. You know, we did magic together. Yep, the year was whatever year this is, minus a few. To pay our way through college, I worked as a magician at birthday parties. And the magician was my lovely assistant. Go, go, Gadget Magic Swords! <laughs> Our act entertained all the kids within that half-block radius. Well, now is your chance for one more show. Your mission is to go to the Magician's Funhouse Lair of Doom and capture him. Understood? One more show. Got it. Go, go, Gadget Magic Rings. Huh? Ta-da! Chief, there's something behind your ear. Gadget, I don't think this is a good idea. Abrica Wowzers, this will be the show of our lives. <sighs> what a lovely home. The magician has done well for himself. Okay, Brain, we need to be stealthy. You and I will use my grappling hook to climb up to the roof and... <gasps> oh, magician! Chief Quimby said to make this the magician's last magic show ever. So it has to be a great one. Hello, Gadget. Welcome to your nightmare! <laughs> magician, it's been too long. What have you been up to? Uh, I was in an asylum. Great. Hope you've been practicing. If this is to be our last show, We'd better make it a great one. It will definitely be the last show for one of us. Exactly. Well, time is of the essence, my lovely assistant. Uh, I am not your lovely assistant! That's right. The magician is working with us to destroy you. Of course you're here. Wouldn't be a proper creepy magic mansion without a visit from Talon. A second assistant. I love where your head is, magician. You and your magic were always a joke. Now sit back and watch as your friends go up in smoke. Flashy opening. I was thinking doves, but this works too. Uncle Gadget, this isn't a show. Alakazim, Alakazam. Annoying girl, you go scram. The old disappearing into the floor trick. Nice. Oh, can you believe this guy? Ah! How many trap doors do you have? What just happened? Where are we? From what I can tell, looks like the magician's extremely weird basement prison. But why would he send me here? It doesn't make sense. He never makes sense because he's totally random. He's the magician. Great idea using him. Uncle Claw, the magician just shot me down some slide, and now I'm stuck in this basement. Yeah, what about Gadget? I think the magician has him under control, but that's not the point. Then good luck down there. The shirky work you want to treat. Your uncle seems very supportive. We gotta get out of here. Uncle Gadget's in trouble up there. Big deal. I'm in trouble down here. You always treated me like an animal. Now it's time for you to become one. <laughs> Sweet revenge! <laughs> a twist on the old rabbit out of a hat. I love it. Come in, Brain. Dr. Claus sending a mad agent to eliminate Uncle Gadget. Stop him. Hmm, I can't see. Go, go, Gadget, neck! Hey, I can't see. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. President. Hmm, I still can't see. Go, go, Gadget Binoculars. No, I said Gadget Binoculars. Now, that's much better. Incompetent fool. I have to do everything. What say we drop the spotlight on Gadget? A mad cat. Wowzers! One of the prizes is a six-slice toaster. Now that costume is ridiculous. You're in my chair. 
You missed, Dr. Claw. I know. Wait. <laughs> Put Gadget on the show. Make him a grand prize winner. Then, when he's in the cone of seclusion, you can electronically hypnotize him. Exactly. <laughs> then he'll do whatever I say. Like rob the armored car? And go to prison for 20 years. <laughs> I'd better call Brain. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice work, Mad Cat. Spotting that little spy. Deposit our little spy in the prop room. I'll start the show. <laughs> Be a good little girl. If I don't get out of here soon, Dr. Claw will hypnotize Uncle Gadget and make him rob the armored car. But how am I going to get out of here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Quizmaster Game Show. And here's our Quizmaster now. Hello, hello. Well, who's going to be our big grand prize winner today? Me, over here, Mr. Quizmaster. And what's our first prize, Bob? Well, Quizmaster, our first prize is a Super Duper Deluxe Six Slice Toaster. Wowzers! Well, let's see. Today's lucky contestant is... The man dressed as the police inspector! Wowzers! That's me! Hey! Now, don't be jealous, fella. I really need that toaster. Go, go, Gadget, wait! Whoa! All right, it's time for the Chair of Champions! Good luck! Which is heavier? One pound of feathers or one ton of feathers? A ton of feathers, I think. That is correct! <laughs> Got to get out of here and stop the quiz master before Dr. Claw hypnotizes Uncle Gadget. Hmm. Maybe I can knock this glass over. Uh, oof! Ah! Oof! Okay now, which door has the prize behind it? Door number four. Huh? Number two? Well, you've won again! Just as I thought. Plastic. Brain, this is urgent. You must stop Uncle Gadget from entering the cone of seclusion. I'll be there in a minute. Your new Super Duper Deluxe Toaster will cook six pieces to a golden brown. That voice sounds familiar. <sighs> Remember to act like a silly dog. Roll over, shake a paw. Play dead? Stupid Petrix, police. That's one undercover mission Mad Cat can do with her eyes closed. In five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Claw's monster, I presume. I know Brain's not a dog's dog. He can't shake a paw or play dead or even eat from his bowl. But I had hoped he could fetch. Oh. Huh? Look who's ready to act like a real dog. Go, go, gadget head scratcher. Good dog. Yeah, it's going to take some time to adjust to the new bod and the new cat-sized brain. 
Here's the dealio. We switched your body with Mad Cat so she could steal HQ's new passcodes. But if she's not back here in four hours, you'll stay like that permanently. So don't even think about escaping. Chapter 3, Struggling with Juggling. The book says you gotta learn to physically juggle before you can mentally juggle. <laughs> Coffee, tea, or... Hmm. Chief Quimby! Nice multitasking, Chief! Good morning, Gadget. It's the annual changing of HQ's passcodes, and we have reason to believe MAD is sending an undercover agent to steal them. This message will self-destruct. A MAD agent here? Just waltzing around HQ? Impossible! We're taking every precaution, and we've erased all internet records of the codes. This portable drive contains the only copy. Huh. Wow. <laughs> huh? No brain. The doggy treats are in my other pocket. <sighs> Don't forget your milk, Chief. Why? Just watch Mad Cat chase her own tail like a real dog. <laughs> She could teach you a thing or two about undercover disguises. For the last time, I thought you said mouse stash. There's something different about you that I can't put my finger on. That's it. You're likable now. Let's make a list of all the doggy things we've never done together. What should be first? <laughs> Playing dead? You read my mind. Next, fetch. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Mad Cat's undercover skills are second to none. She's got gadget eating out of her hand. <laughs> When's the last time you were that committed to going undercover? You're right, Uncle Claw. Mad Cat's a way better spy than me. If you want to get out of this body and back into that one before Mad Cat destroys your reputation, you will help me sneak into HQ and do the switcheroo. <laughs> Be back soon! Just stepping out to do some, uh, spy stuff? Toodles! your brain without me to do all the talking? These multitasking exercises are really upping my agent game. That was close. As if I wasn't using my 360-degree codex goggles to see behind me. Hello, multitasking 101. Also, my cat allergy gave you away. You don't have time for this. <laughs> I know you're here to steal the passcodes, but you can't keep running forever. Oh, why's that? Because this hall ends. Okay, you're right. We knew about the passcode, so we used this machine to switch magic.